What's up everybody? It is, I think June 27th, maybe the 26th, but probably the 27th, 2023. And we are going on a hike today. We're at Aspen Glen picnic area. And what is this hike called, Mr. Ray? Pine Knot Trail. Pine Knot Trail. We are going on the Pine Knot Trail, you guys. So let me put the camera in here. Hopefully I can make it all the way, you guys. It's three and a half miles each way. And uh, hopefully the new GoPro is going to show you guys some cool video, some cool footage. So let's, uh, let's get, get it rolling. And then let me just let my wife know that we're on the trail because she couldn't make it. She had to work, you guys, unfortunately. So let's see. Hey, babe, we are on the trail. I woke up a little bit late and panicked. So we're on the trail and I'm still half asleep, but I'll talk to you as soon as we're about halfway there or what. All right. Big bear weather and more, bro. I can't believe it. Never thought I'd be doing YouTube. Huh, it's a trail sign right there. It is. It is toasty. Aki, aki, okay. Pine knot trailhead. Sweet. Yeah, guys, this is a great area for uh, sledding. Also, if you don't want to pay for sledding in the wintertime, I've shown you guys this spot a few times. Let's take a look at this thing. So it's three miles. Yeah. Wow. All right. Let's go, let's do this. Grand view point, three and a quarter miles. So th this is quite a hike, you guys, at least for me. Ray does this in his sleep. <laughs> 12 miles yesterday. He did 12 miles yesterday. So this must seem like just a hop, skip and a jump for him. Some running water right down there. Yesterday, Ray sent me a, some cool photos of a beautiful river, wherever the heck he was up here. Yeah. Are we going up there? What? Right oh, right turn. right turn. Yeah, see, I would have, uh, I, I would have been lost already. <laughs> you got... <laughs> What's up, dog? Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Perfect day for a hike. It is. It is. Hope you guys had a good one. Yeah. Have a good day. You too. Thanks. Sorry, thank you. No, no problem. Take care, guys. Yeah. 
Man, that little hill took it out of me already. I am such a, so out of shape, it's sick. We screwed up? What? Why? Where are we going? Yeah, I tell Nick not <laughs> Guys, let me tell you where Ray lives so you can go over there while we're out here then. Oh, this is great. Pine knot trail. We can wait just to make sure that he. Well, I guess it wouldn't matter, right? No, no. You did that last time too, or on our last Why hike. Why are you setting someone dry? You have a you have a key in your car, then, huh? Well, it was my you know it was my car key, it's my house key. Yeah, yeah, duh, yeah. And so, when I don't drive. This is really pretty out here. <laughs> so here's two trail places right here. You go cabin feet to the right. Which one's the easiest? <laughs> Cabin 89 or Pine Knot straight ahead. You choose. They're both the same. Okay. Let's, let's do the Pine Knot. Yeah. You're not feeling good? What's up? Yeah, it is. Not as bad as uh, the last one that you and I did. Yeah. This way? Okay.
<clears throat> wow. It's really pretty out here. It's a little warmer than I was, was hoping for, but it's not too often I can say that up here in Big Bear. Oh, oh, wow. That's all woodpeckers. No kidding. And that one too. Yeah. Crazy guys. A friend of mine's house, the whole side of his house. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I feel so bad because it's a lot of damage. Nice shady area. Sorry about that. Everything's got so much new growth on it. It's beautiful, but the con about it is it's going to dry up quickly and become fuel for fires. Oh, don't say I, I know. Let me knock on wood real quick. Knock on hook. So I can show you the before and after pictures of where I was yesterday at Center Green. Yeah. Yeah, I've. I've <laughs> Lush Out 2014, Lush Out Pine Forest 2015 sticks. Yeah, that's a bummer, man.
Let me take a second. I know we just started, but yeah, dude. <sighs> thanks, yeah. thanks, Ray. Drink, so dry. So it was mine. You getting water? I brought a, a Gatorade. A Gatorade? Yeah. I have a liter of water. No, I'm not gonna take your water. I appreciate that. I just didn't want to carry too much stuff. Because I know I'm uh, so out of shape. You're gonna be ultra light. Mr. Ultra Light. Yeah, trying. Another 30 seconds and we're off like a prom dress. No, no, no. Stop for a second. <sighs> Thanks, Ray. I'm, stiff, dude. I'm sore from yesterday. Well, I appreciate appreciate you doing this with me today. Because I because I I know you did a long hike yesterday. Yeah. The longest hike I've had this year so far. Usually I've got a half dozen of those under my belt by this time of year. Jeez. After you <laughs> ski 50 times, me too. The snow, dude, and the stream crossings. Those are gnar. Stream crosses can be sketchy. And I'm not the guy to take my boots off and socks off and wade across and then dry your feet off and put your stuff back on. Yeah. Yeah. I hate putting my feet in that cold water. How long does it usually take if you're consistently hiking for it to, to dry out? What, your feet? Yeah, once you get your, your, your shoes and socks wet. Well, you don't, you don't want to get them wet, so to cross the stream, you got to take them off. So you have to? Yeah. Oh. Take them off, pull your shorts up a little bit, and dive in. <laughs> And when you get the other side, you uh, try to dry your feet out and put your socks and boots back on. Look at these big boulders. Jeez. Is this too? Yeah, it's too boulder. Okay. Go down. It is, man. Does it really? Yeah. Someone tagged up a bunch of trees up on this trail. I'm like, what the hell? And I wish someone would have. That's good. That's good. I hate seeing that. I mean, down the mountain, it's just normal, but. In a beautiful environment like this, it's really sad. <clears throat> what if it's the bears? They've evolved so much, they're tagging. <laughs> you see the orcas attacking the boats? No. And they're training each other to attack boats? No way. In Spain? No way. That's that's scary. That's scary. All right, guys, the GoPro overheated, so we're probably going to go through that a couple times on this hike. And that was only after about 20 minutes, so I'm not too impressed with these GoPros. So hang on, guys. You spent 400 and something dollars for these stupid things. Even all my other GoPros do the same thing. They all overheat. Oh, dude, it's such a joke, bro. That would be awesome. That would. It's the same price too. But the editing part of it, Ray, is it just seems like such a nightmare. Yeah. Like it would take me. It already takes me forever to bless you takes me f forever to to upload these videos bless you bless you bless you the pollen dude yeah the pollen's getting to my wife too big time the pollen is insane. it is insane and guys while the camera was off ray had pointed out about so many gnats 
and I didn't even think about that because there are a ton of gnats. We're going to have quite the fly season up here. <coughs> Downhill! <laughs> And the thing is, Ray, it's not like the sun was shining on this camera. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just because these stupid cameras overheat like that. You guys, that's been a major problem with my GoPros. That's a, another huge reason why I don't use them for my, my regular driving around videos. Because they overheat. And uh, I've done a couple time lapses and stuff like that where I was so excited about them and I came back camera was off because it had overheated you lose a lot of good footage with gopro gopro is kind of a joke actually for them it's all about their next buck look at that i made it this high ray no way yeah. guys look at that i got high Interesting. <laughs> i got really high up here Go higher. Oh yeah, it's always good to get higher. Always good to get higher. See, seeing that reju <laughs> rejuvenated me until I hyperextended my knee. Look at that, you guys. Look at all these beautiful boulders. You know what? That'd be great. You would just show me your rescue. <laughs> yeah, dude, that would get a lot of views. We'd have to have. We'd have to have a great title like uh like uh or just goes down like a sack of potatoes or something <laughs> i know some people on the channel would love to see that <laughs> Wow, that shadow scared me. Um, you said that that uh, the first trail that we went on, um, the Cougar Crest Trail, right. that it was cut out by Boy Scouts, right? Yes. And then what about this trail? This is the Forest Service Trail. Okay. We used to have a different way up here. This was all recently added in the last 10 years, this part. Let me guess, I'm assuming to make it easier because I, I bet it was pretty much straight up, right? Uh, I don't know, I think, I really don't know why they changed the trailhead location. It was on the other side of the parking lot at one time. And now you gotta walk up the canyon a little bit. Oh, this is, oh look, we're gonna get some, no way, some views of San Gorgonio, I think. No, that's not set. I'm just, wow. I'm just thinking I got so far, but yet I'm so far away. We're almost there. I bet we're just under halfway. Just under halfway. Because that looks like a long way that we just went. But don't tell me it's not. Just say yeah. <laughs> just around the next 77 corners. Got my haterade. I knew I forgot something. I knew I forgot something. There, there's some more lake views. I forgot my uh, my oxygen. I'm telling you, Ray. That stuff I always thought was such a joke until I I, I actually used it when I needed it. Oh, bro. Just rip after rip, holding that in as long as I could. <laughs> I thought that was San Gorgonio. Oh, that's pathetic. Yeah, guys, that's not San Gorgonio. That's like the opposite side of the mountain range that we're looking at. That's the North Shore area. That's the, like Cougar Crest. Yeah, it's almost like the peak, right? You can see the peak right there. That, that one right there, right? Yeah. With the radio towers in the building. That's Bertha Peak. Yes. 
That's right. You were talking about those radio t those radio towers, but I I didn't. You can see it from right here. See it? That's the one. Right? That right there? Yeah. My eyes are horrible. That's Bertha Peak, you guys, at 12 o'clock on on the camera. That's another nice hike. I almost made it. Almost made it. We just went to the end of uh, Cougar. Yeah. Right. The Pacific Crest Trail. Yeah. I was so proud of myself. And guys, as dead as I am right now, hopefully me sticking through this will help a lot of other people get the courage and strength to get through what they're trying to accomplish. Because the overwhelming feeling at the very end of accomplishment is just, you can't beat that. For Ray, that's it. This guy feels that every day. That's how to live. I wish I, I wish I could. Old, Nick. I have to go as much possible. <laughs> Guys, he, he wouldn't, you wouldn't believe how old Ray is. He's so old. If I ask him to act his age, he'll die. <laughs> <laughs> He's got two. <laughs> yeah, totally. Right. Yes. Yeah. I've been fortunate enough to actually go to Rome four different times, wow. but, but it was all when I was under 18 um, with, with my family. And one of my mom's mom and dad's good friends, Gianfranco Priota, owns a beautiful uh, restaurant a block away from the Coliseum. So every, every table, you just see, see the Coliseum outside. It's just amazing. I was so fortunate growing up, you guys. Now that I'm an adult and I don't have anyone that can help me, I actually help my mom each month because she doesn't have much anymore. And I just can't afford to, to really do those things. And I never appreciated it as much as I would if it was from my hard earned dollar. So, I mean, I want to do all those trips again, but it would take me a lifetime to be able to afford what my mom and dad did for all seven kids. Dude, dude, my mom and, and, and dad took seven kids on these trips. Yeah, yeah. Mom and dad would sit in first class or business class overseas, and then all of us are back in the coach. Oh, yeah. Kids getting the coach. But we're all fairly short. I have two brothers who are six foot, but my other brother's my height, and all my sisters are my height or shorter. So, coach isn't, isn't bad for me. As a matter of fact, when we go to Florida this next month, it's gonna be the first time I've, I've been on coach for years because I was taking first class. Is your bougie like that? <laughs> <laughs> I was just spending the extra money just to, because you can't take it with you. No, why not, dude? And why not? But since it's two of us. I paid $100 for the valet at the Hollywood Bowl and it was the best 100 bucks I'd ever spent in my life. <laughs> Right? See guys, that's the thing is that if you know it's going to be a good investment because it's going to bring you so much joy, do it. Do it. Th throw it on a credit card if, if you're a responsible person who doesn't have a bunch of debt. <laughs> <laughs> Th three years ago, I had all my cards just about maxed out and, and I have over 20 credit cards. Now I don't carry a single balance on any of them. Well, Thanks, Ray. My entire consumer debt is two hundred and thirty-five dollars, Dude, that's it. <laughs> that's that's in, that's incredible. My entire consumer debt. People our age, I, I know you're a couple years older, but people our age are in so much more debt than that. Thirty thousand dollars easily. My girl's in deep as well. You know what though? So works for me. I'm not busy paying finance charges. No, yeah, yeah, you 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 did it the right way and it sounds like immediate gratification wasn't on your menu. No, no, no. I got one credit card. Good for you, bro. My my reason for getting a lot was um because I didn't make uh, enough money um to really show that much that much income when I first moved up here. And I, I wanted to build my credit up, yeah, so yeah. I kept on getting approved for card after card. 
And for a while I didn't spend anything on them. And then all of a sudden I, I maxed them all out. Cause when I get really down and out on life, if I buy myself something for some reason, I feel better. Uh oh, shoes off. Get them off. <laughs> shoes off. Look at this creek. Listen, I got a new waterproof too. I don't even care. Are, are mine waterproof too? I probably should. Go ahead, step no. in and find <laughs> out. <laughs> I'm right here in tears. Oh. Right oh man. I wish Rachel was here. This is beautiful. Sorry you're not here with us, babe. Because also having someone else who doesn't do much of this, it kind of helps to push me also, but raise patience, you guys, with me, blows my mind. Cause I know everyone else that I would ever hike with or choose to hike with, they would, they would say, oh, take your time, I'm not gonna rush you. But it would, it would get to a point where they'd be like, come on, bro, like, come on. I walk behind you, I let you set the pace. Yeah, thank you. They don't see that you have the that sharp stick in my back though. No, so <laughs> on the last hike that Rachel and I went on, Ray, I was carrying a mocha frappuccino drink. I, like, oh my I, I, I know, bro. Water. I know. Oh, well, I got a Gatorade this time, but guys, Ray told me that. I should have water and Gatorade. You need to do Gatorade and water, yes. Yes. And we're getting deep back here. Guys, Ray almost got eaten by bears yesterday, he thinks. <laughs> no. No? I just heard something. He heard something massive. That made me pucker up. <laughs> <laughs> and decide to go home. When Ray does that, yeah, you, you, you know it's something. I got looking through, I didn't see anything. But you could hear. Oh, I heard one thing. And then I started making a bunch of noise. Smack my poles together. Isn't that what your, that belt, because I did a little research. Yes. The belt, so I make a, some kind of weird noise to walk. Well, why are you walking up to it? For some I reason, mean, I, I thought. Try not to surprise anything. I thought that would attract them to you. No. So that scares them? I'm trying not to surprise them. Yeah. That's the thing, you don't want to surprise. Yeah. Okay. Whew, yeah. It's hot. It's smoking. It's hot today. It finally feels like summer. It does. It does. Damn, man, you have more hair than me, bro. Jeez. It's just not fair, man. The guy's in way freaking better shape. He's old enough to be my dad. If he grew his hair out, he could actually have a full head of hair. No, I got the cul-de-sacs. <laughs> the cul-de-sacs. <laughs> the cul-de-sacs. They're very visible. Yeah, but those are like cul It looks weird to you when my hair starts getting long. Those are cul-de-sacs on a Beverly Hill Street, though. Mine's like, like the worst neighborhood ever. <laughs> There's broken down houses on my forehead. Feeling it today, dude. It's warmer than yesterday. I'll give you some water that you can put in there. There might be one in here. There might be from our last hike. Ready? Yes, sir. All right, onward. All right, onward and upward. All right, guys. Once again, the GoPro overheated, so I had to stop and change the battery. And Ray gave me a five minute break. Yeah, oh yeah, totally. Oh yeah. So let me just put this camera back on. Get out of the way here. Yeah. Oh. Hey guys, Hi. how you doing? It's gorgeous. Wow, I, I can't, guys, these guys are riding a bike uphill. It makes me feel like such a wuss.
while I'm sitting here vaping. <laughs> Dude, you did a 12 mile hike yesterday. You can do whatever the hell you want. Hi. Yeah, you, you did a huge hike yesterday, bro. Well, guys, Ray does the San Gorgonio Summit every year. At least once, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm the camera here. I've heard some some stories about how long that hike is and I watch YouTube videos where they make it about 30 minutes where they just do clips all the way up. 10 to 12 miles to the top from the parking area. So guys, it's it's about a marathon round trip. The thing the thing that kills you is you start out at, at 6800 and you end at 115. So it's the elevation so yeah. that gives you an idea of the pace that 12 miles is set. Sure. Of you climbing. Is it traversing like these trails or is it yeah. more more straight up? Okay. Yeah, it's, it's back. A lot of climbing, some flats, you know, it's like this, it's like this, it's long. <sighs> so I figured it out, Ray. Every, like every little stop that I need. I'll wait until the camera overheats. And then instead of the five minute stop, like just now, I'll just switch the battery out. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you guys. Uh, careful with getting a GoPro. <clears throat> I mean, we're not getting a bunch of direct sunlight. We're walking through a lot of shade like this. Oh, wow. So a bear can hear that bell. Well, I think so in my mind. Yeah, that's all, that's all you need, right? Because <laughs> I almost bought one of those that came with this loud whistle. Right. It was like 12 bucks. I have a bigger bear, be bear bell. Then like if I know if I'm gonna start at like 4.30 in the morning, I'll use that, put that on too. Okay. Or if I'm staying later in the evening, at night or something. Like pretty soon I'll do the annual sunset Bertha Peak. When I go up there and watch the sunset and hike down in the dark. I bet that's gorgeous though. It's pretty damn fun, dude. I bet it's absolutely gorgeous. Once a year I do that. Is it just I love that. That's pretty cool. Is it just you? Yeah. You're the only dude that wants to go hiking with me, dude. That's so that's crazy. I don't mess around. <laughs> no. I'm not gonna wait for someone else to be like, oh I can make it this day. <laughs> I'm going. Yeah, guys, last week we were supposed to do this, and due to some issues, I couldn't make it, and I felt like the biggest tool in the shed because Ray was waiting, and I didn't leave him hanging. I, I let him know early, but... No, I went to Bert the Peak. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He went and did a, a beautiful hike. Is that what they are? Those are beautiful. What beautiful colors. So beautiful. So rich in color, man. Sometimes they think it's my shades, but they are just, look at that. Yeah, those are gorgeous. Like grapes. Do the bees pollinate those too? I guess, yes. Question mark? Yeah. <laughs> Wow, look at these down trees, man. Yeah, that's where the trail used to be. Like the trail I did yesterday, uh, about a quarter mile that had to be completely re rerouted because of avalanche debris. Yeah, guys, he was crossing some areas that had ice still, where the avalanche uh, debris was. Yeah, yeah, underneath the tree. It must have been 30, 40 feet thick there. Jeez, dude. No wonder why they redid the trail. You can see 
is the tree the trees are piled on top of each other. Big chest of rock. Where? Look. See the big one? Like at yeah. eye level? Yeah. No kid, that's Castle Rock? Uh-huh. No kidding. Uh-huh. See you guys see that? It's right at 12 o'clock, guys, right there. Castle Rock. That... In with your YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> you know what though? Like I've gone back and checked out some of these hikes just to bring that that feeling of uh peace into my heart again. Cause yeah, it's I'm I'm struggling right now, but emotionally dude it's it's incredible this is what we were meant to do not sit in front of a tv all day like i usually do hey cindy i am actually on the pine knot trail about two two miles in but i'll be back she had to work so i'm with my good friend ray my friend Cindy says hello. hello. <laughs> you, yeah, you got it, Cindy. You got it. All right, you take care. Bye. All right. Wow, this is so pretty. At this summit, are there views? What's that? Are there views up at this you summit? See all the sand views. At the grand viewpoint? Oh, grand viewpoint, duh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're like, no, you're no, stuck. No, no, <laughs> Whoa, look at that. I've seen a view like this off of the 2N10. Grace Peak. That one right there. And then that one is Bertha. Butler. Or, or Butler, Butler, Butler. The fire lookout. Where's Bertha? Oh, not even, okay. I'm so not dumb. I am so dumb. And Castle Rock. This is where I saw a bobcat. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Imagine just chilling right here. This is great. Listen. Yeah, totally. That is serenity, isn't it? The peace. It really, really is. It catches me off guard all the time. Just stop and be like, oh. no airplanes, no cars, no people. Powerful. It is. Way powerful. Is is that like that big left turn on your way to yeah, Fonskin? What? That's Windy Point. Looks like they're building a new house. Yep. Beautiful. Looks huge from here. I'll bet that's pricey. Oh, dude. Oh, I'll millions, bro. Pricey, millions, yeah. yeah. I'll bet that's pricey. But they're, they're probably, you know, I don't want to jinx us, but they're probably not going to have lakefront for that that much longer. For the best. I'm, I'm definitely hoping for the best have you ever heard of the lake replenishment program yes so do you think that 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 will like what are your thoughts do you think that will ever come to fruition yeah yeah so expensive, dude. I'd hate to just freaking have to pay any more tax. 
I didn't think about that. Yeah, that's, a, that's gonna be my viewpoint is I really, I love the lake and great it brings tourism. But you also love also, the rent. You, you love being able to pay for rent. So I had heard, I, I could be wrong that it's been a program where it's been a lot of donations and they have over 10 million towards about a $55 million bill. And so I was thinking maybe it's all private funding. Uh, last I heard, they were going to tax us, huh? Tax people. Yeah, I'm, I'm not down for that. A lot of people have one side of the coin. I've seen that. That should be going to recharge, recharge the groundwater. We already get taxed enough up here. I, I, I didn't even think about that, right? So that's, you know. Will they constantly take no matter how low the lake is? No, they get a certain allotment. That's what, so the, they use only from their reservoirs, right? That they that pump. Comes from the lake. Okay, okay. Have you ever been on that crew, the snowmaking crew? No, thank you. I know. In the middle of the night, yeah. Your butt off. Yeah, totally. Those guys are warriors. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. They are literal warriors, and I am thankful for everything they do. Totally. They may mess up a little here and there, but overall, a lot of times there wouldn't be no lift without the snowmaking. That's that's right. I thank them every winter time often on, on the channel. You're crazy. I have a 68 year old friend, Tom. He's a super tough, tough vet. And he, he, he does that job. It's crazy. 68, 68 years old. No kidding. I've, no way. No forest. No way, I've this always was, wanted to be here. This was the main right, right, this was the main run down from the top. Guys, this is Snow Forest. This was the, or, the original ski resort up here. And we're on one of the runs right now. This is it. Then there's about three more runs going down. There, was, there used to be a chairlift down there. Wow. Up the canyon towards where we're going. Look at that. Ray, that's awesome. I've always wanted to, to come up here. I've actually skied here. No way. No way. Oh yeah. How old were you? 17. <laughs> that was before 18. Bear, right? No, no, no. Bear was gold mine. Gold mine, yeah. And Snow Summit was Snow Summit. Why did they get rid of this place? Uh, no snow making. Now we're just, that's why I kind of thought about it. So look over here. Wow, this is awesome, it was man. All natural. You see, they replanted it and everything like oh, that. Oh, yeah. Just down there, you look up, and there's a run called Mercury. Mercury has the steepest slope percentage of any run in Big Bear. No kidding. Yes. Monster, but it's real short. But one year, I watched them do speed skiing off of it with speeds of like 110 115 on skis holy smokes yeah. dude that's super cool dude that's awesome sitting there on the hill as a teenager watching them come down where do you where was parking is, so is there, this there's a house across the street from down there okay that used to be the lodge and ticket window no the kidding. parking was there and then those empty lots at the top of Pine Knot? Yeah. Oh, that yeah. That was the parking no area. No way. Yeah. Then over here where the... Where, like, Pine Knot and Cameron is? Where the... Yeah, where the uh, the roller coaster is now. That was the Bunny Hill. Wow, this was a big resort. It was fairly sized. Holy moly. Crazy, man. 
You guys, I've Pink always chillers. wanted. So it was called what now? Snow forest. Snow forest. Snow forest. Man, I can't good imagine. Memories. I can't imagine Real what good memories. What type of famous people skied here too? Good memories. I can guarantee you, Adam West is here. That's awesome. I know Adam West was a huge skier. That's he awesome. Done it a lot. Really? Yeah. I got really excited when I heard that this is where Sean White's parents would, you know, drive him all the time as as a kid to bear and and that's where he learned how to do his skiing and snowboarding it's, it's just cool to know that someone who, who was the best in the world at what they do like th like this was where they learned that's awesome guys that's snow forest right there check out snow forest on google you guys i don't even know if you'll find anything i mean it's been 30 years i would hope they would at least have people who posted old pictures I know cameras were horrible. I, I might have some pictures. Dude, that would be awesome. From the 80s on a powder day. I mean, that's a beautiful spot. The chairlift would always dump you out. That's what I, one thing I remember. The chairlift was kind of sketchy. <laughs> and if you didn't get on right, you were dumped out. Like mid, like at the no, start. No, at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That was my my biggest fear my first time skiing was the chairlift. That's a formidable foe. Yeah, yeah, it definitely is. There's something biting my leg. Sorry. <laughs> Damn it, Ray. Sorry. That wasn't part of the plan. <laughs> so how are we doing? We're mobbing, dude. I have a feeling this waste of money is going to shut off in a second. Huh. I know it's worse for your knees, but I like going down. You do? Yeah. yeah going down is harder for me. They're great. These Merrells. Oh, so those are brand new. Uh huh. What'd you pay for those ones? They were two oh five. Holy smokes! I had a coupon. Got them for one sixty three delivered. No kidding. Yeah, REI. What's the brand? Obos. That's right. You were telling me about Obos. Uh -huh. I even looked them up when I got home. Not cheap. All right, guys. So once again. We camera died. It's the third or fourth time, right? Fourth, third, third, third time. And now we're just gonna put this camera back on. Oops, son of a biscuit. At least you guys don't have to deal with all these brakes. But we have about two more miles till we get to the top you guys and then uh ray said that it will take a different possibly take a different trail back down so that makes me stoked so you guys can see a different way however on the camera going up and down are going to look completely different so thank you ray yeah. you guys if you ever go hiking with someone who's a hiker make sure it's ray <laughs> Cause he's letting me kind of slack a bit. I'm not letting you slack at all. No, dude, you're setting the pace. There's no slacking. Remember, John Muir wants to say he despised the term hiking. He said people shouldn't be hiking through the woods. They should be sauntering. <laughs> sauntering. That's John Muir's actual words. 
So enjoying the oak bushes and the flowers and look at that bark and I've, I've heard that name John John Muir. Why am I Oh my god, Nick, you need to research John Muir. He's a Oh, there's a John Muir trail, right? Uh-huh. It's like 13 miles or, or... He once climbed a pine tree during a storm so he could feel what the pine tree felt. No. <laughs> he slept in the woods with Theodore Roosevelt. Oh, no way. No, really? Yeah. Yeah. Convincing him to make Yosemite National Park. That was John, John Muir's doing? Uh-huh. Wow. Bless that man. Another one of his sayings, one of my favorites is, I would rather be in the mountains thinking of God than in church thinking of the mountains. <laughs> oh, you know what? That is a profound statement because this is as churchy as it gets right here. And then the choir feels amazing. Oh yeah. July and it's still perfect hiking weather. It is perfect. And we got a beautiful stream right there. Just listen to that. Yeah, I get some flow up to the yep. <laughs> Don't uh, reveal my secret. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't have I can't partake because I'm wearing I know, long you pants. Decide to wear pants. I know, what a kook. Went to the pants store. <laughs> I feel like pants. I feel like a pantsy. You got pleats. <laughs> it's pleats. <laughs> Gosh. I think so far so good. I don't think I have any calls yet. Sweet. Oh, that's awesome. It's only been on these few days when I've been hiking with you that I'm getting calls later, which is just wonderful. Better now. That Nick needs some exercise and some peace and harmony. Rejuvenation. Exactly. Seems like it'd be a tough bike trail because of all the rocks and getting close to your pedals. Oh, hat off feels so good. Especially when you're baldy, baldy, bald boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You look like a, you put our heads together, we look like a baby's bottom in a hanky. <laughs> Ray, you're funny, man. 
your banter makes these hikes really, really awesome. That looks like a trail right there. Get the side trail up to the cabin 89 trail. Oh, okay. Never messed with it. Bateau Ray! Yeah, I got into them a little later than most of the people I know. I got into them when I was about 14. And that's when I got the Kill em All album. Oh, dude. Be toasty today. Yeah, I'm dying. But I'll, I'll make it. Okay. You're sure you're okay with me doing these little stops, right? Yeah. Okay. And I'll we're going to the oak, huh? <laughs> Is that oak? Yeah. Yep, I'm holding on to this oak right here. Black oak to be specific. To be Pacific. Come on, Breeze. Oh, yeah. Ah. Let me know where you want some water. Okay. I'll fill your bottle up. Thanks, Ray. Is it cold water? Uh, probably not as cold now. No, that's <laughs> Oh snap! You guys hear hear how ungrateful I just sounded? Uh, is it cold? <laughs> That's that bougie. <laughs> yeah, totally. Are they round? You walked to a thirty-nine. <laughs> With round cubes. <laughs> you better be <laughs> You know what though? Fortunately, I don't like uh, that carbonated water stuff, so I don't drink any of that stuff ever. I hate that water, it's disgusting. Water. Yes, yes, I can't stand it. I thought that would be something as I aged that my, I'd, I'd, I'd get acquired to that taste, but nah. not at all. I used to. For me, anything that had alcohol, I was good. Oh, that's right. I just celebrated 10 years. You were drinking uh, rubbing alcohol out of the bathroom. <laughs> Close enough. That's what people at some of our rehabs would do, which is why most of the rehabs wouldn't let you have rubbing alcohol or cologne. Ew, people were drinking cologne, dude. Ew. Oh God! Yeah, crazy.
It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Look at how green the, that tree is. I, it's beautiful. Just from this last season? Yeah. Look at all this. Oh yeah. Oh you can totally see it. See it? Yeah. So the new step on the end. It's and huge. And that's gonna be a big old tree someday. Do you think the bikers take a different way down? No, they go on this trail. Up and back down? Oh, no, they, yeah, probably, probably went another way. It's hard to tell, because it goes up to, you know, so many different spots. And we're going to Grand View or something? Yes. Sweet. I I have to push myself. These little few second breaks would help me. In the shade, it's so nice. It, it's beyond nice. Then take off my hat. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Let some steam out. All right. Alrighty. It is. At this point, if I had a tent, I could go to sleep immediately. Really? <laughs> it's pathetic, man. Right? It really is. And I know my wife was dying to go on this with us, but I screwed it up last week. She was trying she was trying to get me to you know go anyway she was like you're not gonna do that to ray are you i was like i already texted him like and i was like i feel super bad because i know he was looking forward to it too I just ultimated my plan. she's a warrior though because she she doesn't get much sleep either right. and she gets up early and does her thing Is that an actual piece of a sled? Weak. Way out here too. Weak. Some up here. Ray grabbed it, you guys. Oh. Camera's feeling hot. Jeez Louise. 
It's an interesting shape, that rock. I'm okay for right now. Thank you so much, Ray. I appreciate it, man. I really do. I think tomorrow or the next day, Rachel and I are, uh, I have a friend of mine, Paul, who, who runs the, like the tour boats. We're gonna go do a, a lake tour. Nice. Yeah. That's always fun. I've, I've only been on the lake once since I've lived here. All right, this is a, the end of another overheating, the fourth one. I'm saying that because I need to know where we are when I patch these videos together because unfortunately GoPro doesn't keep the the videos in order uh, oh yeah so these long hikes dude nightmare because it all looks fairly much the same on the video so I have to like go through five. go through each video Ugh. all right let's do this you got bling bling on your ring that's my merit. That's I know. That's, <laughs> 18 carat with a bunch of beautiful diamonds. I get, yeah, I don't know why, but I had to make sure that they were high end diamonds also. And a lot of gold. Well, sparkly, <laughs> yeah, they are, aren't they? Sparkly, <laughs> Caught my eye. Blind you if you're not Dang. careful. Your bling is too much for my ring. <laughs> I just want to jump in that stream. Five dollars, <laughs> Five, really? Five. <laughs> How much will you guys give me? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? They actually egged me on to doing an extra snow angel during that huge storm when right. I when I did not want to go outside. I was doing a live feed and they kept on sending like 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Saying, did you do so, yeah, so I ran out and I did probably three or four, but they kept on egging me on by sending me money. <laughs> it sucks though, because when you get the donations from um, YouTube's live thing, YouTube takes 30% of it. So that's why a lot of them send me Venmo and GoPro, or and, uh, Venmo and Cash App. Yeah. Dude, right? What's your head? <sighs> and I left my wallet at home intentionally so I wouldn't. <laughs> so I wouldn't lose it even though I was going to do what you said put everything in a pocket in my backpack that I'll remember uh -huh. Ooh, low bridge. yeah that is a low one it's going to be a lot of mosquitoes over here I would bet or maybe not because it's running water Look at that, you guys. Hang on, Ray, just for a second. Look at that. That'd be perfect for my relaxation videos. Wow. See how cold it is. Oh yeah. Do you think that's drinkable without iodine? 
Probably not worth the risk, huh? Uh, who knows what's been pushing in it up here? That's true. That's true. When I die in old school, Nick, we have filters now. That's right. <laughs> I got so used to doing like the five drops in the one yeah. liter, the one liter bottle. Yeah. Now you just take the little micro filter and you screw it on the end of the water bottle, fill the water bottle up and you're good to go. That's incredible to me. Whoa, look at this. So pretty. Now we're walking on the beach. <laughs> Baby, if you're if you were if you're watching later, you'll be so proud of me. Oh, this is amazing right here. Oh. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Right or left? Straight across. Straight across? Where it says 2 and 8 Oh, okay. All right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are heavy too, though. Yeah. The weight on them. Last yep. But that last hike she and I went on was was only about a mile. Drops us off near that um, the marine spot over by Switzerland. Okay. And we started up at, at, at the 2N10 past Bear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at how beautiful. The meadow. Wish that was in the shade. Okay. In the shade this day. Look at that. Skunk cabbage growing. What's it called? Skunk cabbage. It can be used as toilet paper. No kidding. Uh -huh. The leaves are big and soft. <laughs> no uh, burnies or anything. <laughs> outward bound at, at, at certain points, even though it was July, late June, early July, the, we, we got a snowstorm in the, th the Three Sisters Wilderness area, and we used snow. We would yeah. ball up the snow and then... Yeah, yeah, that's one of the things they taught me. Really? Snow or sticks. Yeah, yeah. Snow or sticks, baby. So that control burn they did up here a few years ago, remember all the smoke was putting it out? Yeah. That was on the other side. I just don't know how they can control it like that, you know? So you can see it's all come back and look yeah. like there was never, never anything there. It, it was on, it was that, that side of that little fire road? From that road over, that was completely black. Two no years kidding. Ago. Which road is that? Is that 2N10? Because this, this area looks familiar like it was a lake at some point. Oh, wait, look. Oh, no, wait, oh. I think maybe 2N06. I thought that was a regular motorcycle. I was like, that guy's crazy. Oh, 
Oh, there's a camp campsite up here. Mm, group camp. Is your water? Uh, oh, there, yeah. Is, is, is it tap water? No. Spartan water. Spartan water. It's the only water I drink. Spartan water. Actually, I don't drink water. It really is Spartan water, dude. Really? They, uh, when the Spartan race left, they left pallets and pallets of this stuff. Action water. No kidding. Open up your bottle. Hang on a sec. I'm stuck here. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Next time I won't forget. And that's so cold, too. Dude, you are the man. Thank you so much, man. Oh, you yeah. are the man. Really? Thanks, boy, with you. I'm good. Thanks, Ray. Cheers. Cheers. It's ion charged. Now you're going to be ion charged. Ah, that's damn good water. Holy moly, that's great water. That's, I, that's, I took cases. That's great, home. great H2O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm a Spartan. You took two cases? Oh, like six or seven. Yeah, good. No, that's that's good stuff. See, I'm still getting a little phone ooh, service. Ooh, That's cold. <clears throat> oh, my pack. Oh, it's so cold. Did you spill water it's on it? wet. Oh, yeah, yeah. It cooled off. <clears throat> Feels good, though. A lot of shock value. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these, these little guys right here. Mustard and Indian paintbrush. That's Indian paintbrush? Uh-huh. Okay. And we got mosquitoes. Yes. Those little bastages. I think I pounded that water too fast. So I forgot how good water is, man. Oh, that breeze is epic. Oh, it's so great. See, you guys, there's some, some benches over here with a barbecue and everything. I think you gotta reserve this spot. So people just drive to it though then, huh? Yeah. That's super cool. Look at that, you guys. It's got a pit toilet. Oh yeah. Behind there, right? Yeah. Four boxes. That's what those are. Yeah. Guys, we're really in, in the neck of the bears here in the Deer group camp. Straight ahead? Yep. All right. Yes, sir. This is so pretty up here, man. Phenomenal, bro. It really is. Come to biker dude, so heads up. Okay. Right. In front of us? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. How's it going? Great man, how are you? Good, take care. Good eye, Ray. I didn't see him. I'd be laying on the ground if it wasn't for you. <laughs> Thank you.
they should really have like a bell on their bike too. I agree. So that like some of the bicycle foundation started a trial program on this trail where they had bell boxes at the top and bottom of the trail. So you were to put the bell on your bike at the top of the trail and then you put it back in the box at the bottom. People just stole them all. That's lame. <laughs> that's lame because that's that's a great idea. It wasn't cool. I thought it was a really cool idea. That short trail again that Rachel and I just went on, there were a lot of bikers. Not a lot, but I think maybe we saw like six or seven and it was just like a mile long trail. That guy came from a, a different way though, right? I think he came down this way. Oh, okay. I think, he did kind of look like he was a different... Yeah, like he... Oh, he was going too fast to be on cross country. Okay. Yeah, he was charging. Have fun. As soon as you said that, they all shut up. They were going off and turning them over yesterday. So, where did your your hike start from? Chief Lake Road. Oh, so you drove all the way to Highway 38? Yeah. Parking area, yeah, you really are a damn enthusiastic hiker. <laughs> <laughs> How can I not be, dude? Look at it. I know. I know. I think I get used to it too much sometimes. I'm not appreciative anymore. But then you take it away, or like. That's how I was about where I came from on the water in Newport Beach. I hardly ever went to the beach. But then now that I'm up here, I'm like, damn. I should have spent more time at the beach. A lot more time at the beach, yeah. Oh, here, comes here comes a biker. Okay. I'm gonna stand over here in the shade. Two of them hauling some serious buns. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. That is so cool, Dad. Okay. Dad and son hauling some butt. Yeah. That is great. So how are we doing, Ray? We're doing good. Are we almost there? Getting there. <laughs> Probably got about three quarters of a mile. Okay. We're gonna go up this part and then it's gonna go downhill and flat for a little bit. But then we have the final quarter mile up to Grand View Point. That will be your final push, Nick. We're gonna do it. Final push. Even though my hamstrings are tight as all hell right now. Is it? Yeah. I don't know why. Might be broken? No. You know what? I, I can't take that stuff because of my Crohn's disease. I got Tylenol. I can't. Uh, I can take take that, but not not much. Mm. It sucks because the only stuff I can take for like pain and alleviation of, of stuff like that is the heavy stuff that doesn't have like a lot of acetaminophen or. Can 
Okay, Nick, you can do it. <laughs> you can do it. You know, I'm seriously thinking about getting my private pilot's license. Right on. Yep. I called some of the uh, couple guys up, up here that are affiliated with the school. And I think the program that I want to do, I can get through all the classes, my flying, everything, for between eight and 13,000 to get my private pilot's license. Eight to 13 grand? Yep. That's with the airplane rentals and everything? Uh, everything, yep. Yeah. That's cool. With my instructor. It is, but you know what? I've always wanted to fly. And my mom actually told me years afterwards, she said when I was 15 or 16. All right, you guys, so we're trying something different. I just have my charger plugged in to the GoPro and hopefully that'll keep us going without having to change these batteries that keep on overheating. That was Ray's idea. Just plug in my external charger, see if that'll work. And I'm like, oh no, it doesn't work. Well, it's recording. Your battery might get hot, but it's not hooked to the camera. Correct. So it'll keep itself cool in the pack and the camera cool. Dude, dude, that would be awesome. I hope it works out, dude. Me too. My only problem now is there's, there's going to be no excuse to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, hopefully this is actually going to work out. Hopefully it'll give me that, that beep, beep, beep sound if it shuts off though. Just, just so I know. <laughs> Guys, can you believe Ray? Dude, no seriously, right Problem here, bro. Solver. Yeah, no, that's amazing. So now I know what to do for my time-lapse videos at my house. I don't have to have the battery in. <laughs> That should last for a few hours now. I'm, I'm hoping so, yeah. A couple hours? I'm hoping so. It's, the other batteries have been sucking juice off of it, so hopefully I got a nice charge out of this because I didn't charge it overnight because I knew it still had plenty left. It's like 96,000 mAh or like whatever it is. Milliamps. Dude, who are you, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds right. Or the MAH could be like, my ass is hot. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> I was talking about. I was talking about. I was talking about the donkeys. PG. Uh, yes. We got to stay PG, guys. Still recording. Unbelievable. I mean, I never thought about that, Ray, but it's because why would GoPro even tell you that? Because they want you to buy, buy all their batteries, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude, yeah. This is nice to hear. It is. This is what it'll be like going down. So I'm really, really looking forward to this because it's not too, too hard on me. Look at that road. Yeah, I think it's 206. It's beautiful. 208. You can drive it here easily, dude. I'm, I'm, so in a few days, if, if you want to go for a ride with us, um, I'm, I'm going to do the 2N10 from, uh, from the top of Bear over to Mill Creek. Just do that whole tour through there. If you got nothing to do and you want to cruise. Oh wait, you'll be at work. I'm work the next five days, homie. That's right. That's right. Gotta pay the bill. Yes, sir. 
Daddy needs a new car. <laughs> and Mama needs a new pair of shoes. The furnace guy comes next week, so we'll know. Is it going to be 500? Or is it going to be 5,000? <laughs> Do you, do you know the, the, the people coming? Yes. Okay, good. Hopefully it'll be like 500 then. But if we need a brand new furnace, it's gonna be thousands. And it could be due because the heater's from 1977. Oh, geez. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking just say, can you just put a new one in? And See, I, uh, I did that with with my place I've, I've replaced i put in like a toto toilet and had it painted wood floors but i'm the world's best tenant but um because i wanted a bigger water heater um i was t mine didn't work well either i i told blue skies talk to the owners and i'll pay for half of it if we can get a brand new bigger one in there and they went for it so wow. yeah i think it was Three grand? I think still live in that house, right? Did he really? Yeah. I think I remember hearing that. Nick lived in that house. What, with a, mom. what a trip, dude. I've met a few people who have lived there. Most of them weren't sane though. Right. <laughs> yeah. That place was was rough when I moved in, bro. Was it? Oh man just filthy and nothing worked all the blinds were like oh bro it's 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 been through yes it has been well what is your rent now 550 oh my god for that two-story place bro oh my god bro. yeah You're in a rent bubble too. i got lucky i got grandfathered in um well actually when i moved there may 1st 2015 Everything up here was still super cheap. There was hardly, hardly, hardly any Airbnbs oh, yeah. anywhere. Oh yeah, before pre-COVID. Yeah. Oh yeah. Pre-COVID. <coughs> you could rent a bitchin' house for eight hundred bucks a month. That same house is now eighteen hundred a month. Dude, my wife's old place on uh, on the, on the corner of of Blue something and and Sugarloaf. It's the same street as Circle K. Um, she was paying a thousand for a big two-story place and when she moved out it went to two thousand a hundred percent raise just crazy there's san gorgonio yes, wow a hundred percent i know if if i move out of my place especially with all the upgrades that i've done oh yeah they'll probably try to charge 12 to 1500 a month oh, yeah. <clears throat> i'm in a red bubble too homie I'm worried though because Blue Skies tells me that the owner's very, very old, and his and his kids are kind of like that. Yeah. yeah that's what happened to me. That's happened to me several times. So what I'm hoping for is that the the, the, the next owners would still use it as an investment property because right. there's five or six houses on the property. Yeah. I was even looking into buying the property. One of the scary things is how much is the land worth. So when I looked at it. At first, when I didn't have anything, I think th the last time it, it, it was sold for like 300 for everything. Right. All the property, all the houses. Now, yeah, totally, bro. <laughs> totally. Totally. It's great location. <laughs> Hello. Hi there. Hi. Hello. Hi. Have a great hike. You too. Thank you. Got a rock in my shoe. <laughs> I'll wait. That's the length of the journey is the pebble in your shoe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a Chinese proverb. Confu I, was, I, was, I, was, I was just going to say Confucius say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Confucius say elevator smells different from small person. <laughs> This is the 2N10 right here. Yeah. Yep, 2N10 and the trail of about four, junction about four trails. Hi guys. It's beautiful. We're just about here, huh? Yeah, quarter mile. Oh, stop it. Guys, he said the, he said the quarter mile here. Quarter mile to the Grand Beach.
Guys, keep your fingers crossed that this type of battery that I'm using doesn't affect our video. I'm worried that like GoPro has some proprietary thing like that their battery makes it actually the full 5K or something. I don't know. So here, this trail. Yeah, what's this trail? This is a skyline trail that starts by Bear Mountain and goes to Castle Rock. Skyline trail. Wow, these are long too. Dang, look at that guys. Eight and a half miles, six and a half miles. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Look at that view, you guys. This is what it's all about. I gotta send Rachel a pic. If I can get any service here. I'm gonna take a picture of us and put it on Facebook. Dude, please do. And then send- I'm gonna tag you. Yeah, oh my gosh, that is just spectacular. Are you kidding me? I never go on my Facebook. No, I only post. Look at the mountain behind us. Where is it? Right there. All right. Thanks, dude. Oh, let's see. This is about three miles into the hike, babe. I'm dying, but I'm pushing through. Oh, look at this. I've got a freaking bench here. I'm not pointing it out because I'm lazy, but I'm pointing it out because. Get your final rest because we ain't stopping until the top after this. Fine for me. Look at that. That's just magnificent right there. Are you, you know what? I might as well get that rock out, out of my shoe while I'm sitting. That is just epic. So that is San, San Rogonio Peak right there, right? Yeah. I was kind of tucked up in that canyon to the left of it. So day. over those mountains right here, but down no, in there? No, you see there's like this one main canyon that goes up. Yeah. And there's kind of a gray patch in the middle of it. Yep. You follow that canyon to the left there, and that's where Dry Lake is. And that lake didn't look too dry. If that's No. Yeah. No, it's full. <laughs> yeah, it looked beautiful. Well, it's got water going into it. There's still snow up there. Ah, it's so I mean, Ray, this is this that is. That lake was dry seven months ago. Bone dry. Spring was bone dry. Now the spring's running full force. I'm gonna camp up there in a couple weeks. Dang, bro. I'm going for it. Good for you. What do you bring up there? To like, are you gonna bring any bear mace? No. My bear can. Bear can to keep my food safe. Hopefully by then that bear will have moved on. So look, this goes that trail right there goes down to Seven Oaks. No kidding. Yeah. That trail that way goes to Bear Mountain. The trail that way goes to Castle Rock. And then we go up this trail to Grand View Point. So we're going way the heck up there. Quarter mile. Whew. All right, let's do it. 10, 15 minutes will be let's there. Let's do it. You guys, this is this is when you really gotta push and give yourself the opportunity. Cause I could quit right now with my- Not here, you're not going to. We're <laughs> almost there now, sucker. I'm getting uh, some- uh... You got to the meadow, that was your last chance. I'm getting blisters. Are you? Yeah. Are you got hot spots? On, on, on my left small toe. I got most skin on my first aid kit. So do I, but we could, we could check it out up there. All right. Yeah. I'm wearing brand new boots, so. Yeah, so you should be getting them too. I'm feeling pretty good. Good, good, man. I'm glad to hear that. But you know the secret is that mer that merino wool socks, man. See, I, I I'm not wearing them today. Oh. I know. Oh man. I've got a pair in my thing, I think. You should change into them up here. I will. 100%. I will. Guys, that's why my feet are killing me. Yeah, you gotta have the good socks, man. They make a huge world of difference. I found a bunch of 9 mil ammo up here. No. I'll bet a lot of people come up here and set up targets. 
even though you probably you shouldn't there's a lot of people who end up cruising up here but you found them just right around here yeah right It's funny, driving that road often, I always see this area. I'm always like, there's no way I can hike up there. I've always sold myself short. Yeah. <laughs> well, good. Now I'm giving you confidence. Yes, you are. I would love to see you out here doing this with you and your lady. Me too. Me too. Because it's really good for you, dude. Hey, since you have everything with you, you have scissors, right? Yeah. Okay, because I have to. I, I have some moleskin too. Uh -oh. Okay. Up, yep. How are you? Good, good. How about you? Doing well, thank you. Next shady spot, dude. I might have to switch it out. Not being lazy, I swear. I just. I think I just don't want my uh There's a nice rock to sit on up there. Okay. In the shade. Sweet. Sweetness. Literally five more minutes. You could do it. Push through, Nick. I, I can't believe I'm doing it. <laughs> no pain, no gain. So, and then, so you'll know this is a distance to Bertha Peak. That's really? Yeah. So I just walked to Bertha Peak? Yeah. The only thing is the steepness. Bertha Peak's a lot steeper. The last mile and a half is not. Yes. Yes. So much growth. I know, it's so Look pretty. At Look at that. That's phenomenal. It's so pretty. <laughs> it is. It's great. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, it looks amazing. It does. It looks so good. It looks fake. The forest is so green this year. And it took forever to finally warm up. Yeah, it did, didn't it? Next, This next week, though, that's our first major warm-up. We're still saying 30s at night, bro. Yeah. But as I said, in about three or four days, we're going to start to hit 80. And our, our nighttime lows at about 50. Oh, I can't wait to leave the windows. Open. I know. I know. walking gingerly on my left foot just so I don't put pressure on the baby toe. Oh man. Yeah. But as I said, thank gosh I have that moleskin stuff. So do you though. Okay. Well, yeah, I did on one day. Oh. I felt it and I didn't do anything about it. Man, that stuff was angry when I got home. How much time do you have once you start feeling it to actually do something about it? I, I really can't answer that. I'm at, everyone's anatomy is different. Because I don't want to have to hitchhike back. <laughs> you got to make it down now, Sugar. I know, right? I know. Thank you, Ray. I'll hold off as much as I can till I know that there will be no issues. God, that's a horrible feeling. I hate doing that. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> I'm the same for me. No, it's it's. Because I know I'm a water hog. Ooh, it's looking good over this end. Look at up. Trying to camp on the right side. Right here. No, up here on San G. Oh, jeez, dude. The snow's melting. Don't have to mess around. Guys, look at this. That's that's eight. We're the eight thousand feet up, looking, looking down. Santiago Peak, over there in the distance. Wow. Above uh, Orange County. Yep. Yep. Saddleback Mountain area, right? Yeah. 
I lived on the, I lived on the other side of Saddleback. Yeah. And where I grew up, I couldn't see the San Bernardinos because Saddleback blocked it, but we could see the San Gabriels really, really nicely. Right, right. And I'd get so excited that one time per year that it would snow on, on Saddleback. And you could see it. Yeah. I knew a dude that skied Saddleback. I've seen someone on YouTube do that. Yeah. Yeah, bro. It's crazy. Badass. Totally. So cool. Yeah, it really is. That was super cool. I've seen people skiing this guy here. I want that big. Oh, yeah. It oh, looks. Yeah, that's regular. It looks like the Rocky Mountains, bro. Like, oh, yeah. I, I could not believe how spectacularly large it was. And they hiked all the way up with huge packs, carrying their skis and boots and stuff, and then skied down. And halfway up, there was no snow anywhere. I was like, how are they going to ski? Right, it right. just shows how high they freaking went. Keep going and they hit the snow line. Yeah. Yeah. Huge avalanche areas too. We are here, no way. Yeah. I freaking made it? Yeah. These rocks over here. Guys, I made it. Now Ray's going to put on his shoes now. To, to walk back because he's barefoot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, buddy. You guys, I'm going to sit. Oh my gosh. I'm going to sit down for a second to put on my moleskin and then I'm going to get up and walk around to show you guys. Oh my goodness. That was a fire, right? That's from the fire from the. Oh. Yes, that's right. We're up, dude. All right. Get yourself a shady spot. I always put my pack right here. Yeah. Dude, no Woo. way. No way. Get that thing up for a minute. Welcome, dude, to Dan Viewpoint. Thank you. When Guys. I was younger, a lot of these trees weren't here, so it was kind of a better view, but. Oh, dude. It's magnificent, and it, like just. Yeah, oh. Over here. Uh, oh. You Are you your yeah. Just. Here, my, uh, just a moleskin myself here. Get the for you. Then I'm gonna switch my socks. Yes. Good idea. Ah, oh, these socks are horrible. Rescue helicopter, or that's the the hospital one, right? Huh? That's the helicopter that, like the Forest Service. Oh, it looks like Forest Service, or it actually looks like Coast Guard, if you ask me. Woo. All right, oh, so that air feels so good. It does, and you guys watching are getting the whole experience. At least I'm pretty sure. Good thing your viewers can't smell because your feet stand. <laughs> Dude, you've got to be kidding. I have one sock. Oh, no. No way. How does that happen, Nick? I have no idea. Oh, no. I found the second I one. I was going to say. <laughs> All right, here, that's the rest is for you. Thanks, brother. I yeah. appreciate that. Just filled up my water, little water bottle. I got this. Is that your your, your vitamin water? See, si. see, si, see, si, senor. Oh man, that was good timing. To but now <laughs> it is time for this. Is the camera on or off? On. 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 Yeah, I'm uh, I'm not. You're making him watch you change your socks. Yes, it, yes. Wow. <laughs> I knew that's why. I knew that's why you were asking. Why? <laughs> why? They don't want to see your feet. It's a full experience. No one wants to see adult male feet. Okay. <laughs>
here. You, so you do that, you my man. Choose to film it if you want or not. You do that. There might be kids watching though. <sighs> Yeah, guys, I was wearing the cheesiest socks. And those socks, when I bought them, they were nice. But nothing like merino wool. <laughs> True hiking socks, bro. That's your foundation. <laughs> Smoke them if you got them. <laughs> you all right, dude? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Great. <laughs> so I'm like, screw it. <laughs> you know what, though? I, I've heard it, it, it's, it's, it's good protein. Thank you. Oh yeah, I mean, that's like what I needed. I, so deep of snow up in some spots there, dude. That's what I was gonna ask you. Do you think some of those shoots probably still have four or oh, five yeah. feet? Some of the, 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 the main trails from this side up to the top, they're saying don't even try unless you got mountaineering experience. Wow, wow, it's really still? Boot, it's not even boot packed down or anything. Oh my gosh. Come on guys, are you serious with this? We're gonna go down to that sign so you guys can see. And then Seven Oaks right down there. Isn't that where Christopher Dorner had his last stand? I wonder how... No, I'm, I was here uh, two years later. But I was living at my brother's house in Redlands and, 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 and you could see the fire from right down here. Wow. Yep, you could see it over, over the mountains right there. It was... Yeah, and, and where he tied up that, that couple and took their car and stuff, or took that truck. Yeah, it's... Uh, it's in one of those those brown two-story or three-story condos. So crazy. Yeah, it's totally crazy. Watching video of the, of helicopters landing in the, the golf course parking lot and cops everywhere. I got to see kind of not my house, but the front house on the news. Like uh, because I watch a lot of that stuff now just to look back on like how crazy that time was. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's my driveway. <laughs> Seeing it on some like, one of our country's biggest manhunts ever. And it, it ended right here. Right down there where I'm pointing my camera, guys. Holy smokes, Ray. Woo! Dang. <laughs> I'll try not to. I want you guys to see this. This is the Grand Explorations. It's a sign here. You guys may have to screenshot it. Yeah, guys, I am so beat, and we're, and we're only halfway through. But even though going down isn't, it, it's not good for your joints. For me, you guys, it's just an easier hike. Dude, this is one of the nicest views I've ever seen. Not just in, in Big Bear, like ever. So I'm doing Nick now, I get you to stand on the peaks on the other 
other side looking this way. I would love that sometime. I've been on every one of them, homie. I can take you there. You guys, that one with snow right there, that's San Gorgonio Peak right there. And Ray goes up there all the time. Do they have like different routes up there, like an easier route and a mid-level route? No? Okay. One trail. So the man... One or, trail yeah. across country. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I, I couldn't imagine doing that there. I wonder if people have the courage to snowshoe up there in the middle of winter. Do they really? Yeah, that's, that's nuts, dude. They I mean, it. they get ju like just as much snow as dude, mammoth for the most part. Touring skis with skins on the bottom and they slide up and then you ski down. Really? Oh yeah, lots of people did that this, this winter. You could almost ski all the way to the freaking Jinx Lake Road. <laughs> That's insane. It was way insane. That's got to be like one of the longest ski runs on the planet. <laughs> Seriously. As I said, just looking in that canyon when those dudes on YouTube 12 years ago were skiing, like uh, they hiked all the way up and then yeah. skied. Dude, it, it, it did not look like what I'm seeing Southern from here. California? Oh, uh, dude, completely Rockies. Like, Garrett, like, if you would have told someone that's Southern California, they would not have believed you. Cause it just it seemed like such a huge mountain range and a oh, dude it's a different world up there yeah <clears throat> how flat is it is there like a good size mesa up there that you could build a small town uh, i wouldn't say small town it's kind of a rounded top and what's up there dude is uh over the years people constructed these giant rock walls rock rings okay that you can take and put your tent inside and camp and there's like usually a cooking rock okay spot for a stove oh, oh cool and it keeps you out of the wind because the wind up there is insane uh, yeah and there's there's a huge population of chipmunks that live up there that will come right up to your hand for food <laughs> It would be crazy thinking, how does anything live up here? Because it's basically just rocks. Yeah. And a few trees <laughs> that are that grow on the ground because of the wind. Even though they're above the tree level. Even though they're above the tree level, there's like the lodgepole trees will actually grow, but they don't get any higher than a few inches off the ground. They're spread out from the wind. Wow, that is so, dude, that, that is so cool. It's literally like the moon up there. It's just rocks. If you camp up there and look out on a full moon night, you'll think you're on the moon. Oh, really? What I've done it's crazy. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Just it's for crazy. that feeling to think you're on the moon, bro, that would be, yeah, because you're so high up looking, oh my gosh, yeah. I'm like 19 years old, we didn't know any better. <laughs> and we decided to camp on the top in one day. Started way late, didn't know where we were going. It got dark. We didn't know how to set the tent up. So we ended it off, not at the top, but just a few peaks over and basically sleeping inside a collapsed tent. It was crazy, Dude, crazy experience. You guys do not do that. But what you want to do is get experienced like Ray is and then you, <laughs> and then you can actually, if you wanted to, because not a, there's probably not a whole lot of takers out there on doing a climb like that. I mean, I'm sure you can find like Facebook groups and stuff of like There's people. Lots of Facebook yeah, groups. right. There's lots lots of, of people do it every day. No kidding. No kidding. This time of day, I guarantee you, there's probably five or six people that have gotten to the top and back down for just day hikes. Jeez. I wish I had my binoculars so I could take a look up there right now. That'd be kind of cool. I used to. I want really nice binoculars. Don't fall over, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> I you, you saw that? I you saw that? <laughs> yeah, guys. You just gotta take take that in. It's truly something else. You can literally see all these mountains from miles away. Yeah. From miles away. Didn't I tell you America's 
furthest <coughs> vantage points are actually in our state. It's from Mount Whitney or from San Gorgonio Peak. You can see Mount Whitney and that's 195 miles away. Right, right. As the crow flies. That's the furthest vantage point you can see in the whole entire um, uh, United States. Wow. Yeah, from here to there. Yeah. Jeez. And I learned that while I was living up here and, and, I, and I got so excited. I'm like, ah, oh, that's, that's my mountain range, you know? That's insane. Yeah, the furthest you can see is from that snowy peak up there, you guys, all the way to Mount Whitney in the Sierra Nevadas. 195 miles or something like that. 11,503 feet. What is? It's 11,599. No, 11,503, Nick. Let me... That says that, that thing's lying. I'll bet uh, money on it. I always thought it was 11599 I wish. I'll, you know, I'll always just cut that inches when I can get them. I'm sorry, $11,499. Yeah. $503. That's what I've seen everywhere else too, bro. $503. All right. You give uh, me those four feet. Okay, I'm fine, fine. No, no, fine. No, 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 you get it. You, no, you get I'm them. I'm taking those four feet. You, you, he deserves it, guys. I actually think the marker at the top is <laughs> No, there's a marker at the top. Because you know I'm not going to ever get up there, so that's why you're saying no, that. I'm you're going to get up there. I'm just kidding. I'm just you're kidding. You're going to get there? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> so then maybe that's what someone's altimeter so when you're took? you're more comfortable and you buy a pack and sleeping bag and all the shit to go stay the night, we hike six miles in, set up camp. The next day we go to the top, hang out come back down to camp the third day you walk out so you leave camp set up yeah no one will mess with it no okay okay see that would work for me because that would be like doing this hike round trip each day till you get to the top six miles each because oh no this is seven miles round trip this will be seven miles yeah dude that's sick so but a six mile hike with a full pack is a easily doable in an afternoon even as steep as it is. Yeah. Amazing. You just go slower, you know? It's it's all about you pace yourself and slow down with a heavy pack. You just don't bust out and try to get there as fast as you can. You guys, I hope, I, I, I hope you're taking notes. Some people do. Everyone's got their style, you know? Sure. sure. I like to start early in the morning and get as much done before the heat. I watched That's someone... On, on 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 YouTube, climb it in a, 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 like a couple hours. Just straight up. Straight up. Yeah. Just hauling. Just yeah. yeah. Like not even slowing down. Mm -hmm. Just um, like I don't know how how that's even humanly possible. And they possible. got like one water bottle. <laughs> yeah, that they drank at the bottom. <laughs> Dude, look at this. Look at these views, and then around this rock, Ray. This is amazing, man. All right. Are you about ready to bounce out of here? Yeah, why not? Right. <laughs> that was worth everything, bro. Guys, I hope you didn't miss out on a lot of the shots. I'll take one more walk next to this rock because I was trying a new procedure to power up this GoPro. And I think it may have screwed up for in, in, in the last five minutes, but it's been working like a charm so far. Thanks to Mr. Ray. Uh, maybe not thanks to Mr. Ray, but it just, it just corrupts all the files. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's yummy. I should probably do that. <clears throat> All right, guys. So we're on our way down, down, down. Going down, down, down. Did we leave anything? <laughs> did, I bring, did, I, did I pick Last everything check. up? Last check. Well, that's what I do every time before I leave. I look around make sure I didn't leave something. I'm so glad you remembered those because 
I wouldn't have forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Good timing, Nick. See, I I planned it like that. I'm I'm really good like that. Oh, we got some uphill to go. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, huge uphill. It will be a little more uphill. Hello. I mean, it's just it's wonderful, isn't it? Sugarloaf Mountain. Yeah, Bear yeah, Mountain. yeah. On the, on that sign, it showed every single peak, yeah. the supposed elevations. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? I will argue that one because I've been up there. Dude, if you tell me it's eleven five oh three, then that's what I'm telling everybody. I don't care what it says. I don't care what it says everywhere else. <laughs> you know what? If you got the sign on top of the mountain, it's it's eleven five guys. San Gorgonio is now eleven five, or it's always been eleven five oh three. I've been lying, telling you guys it's eleven four ninety nine. It may have been eleven four nine nine at one time. That's I, happen That's a great point. That's, that's a great point. We had the big earthquake in the 90s here. Wasn't it like the Big Bear quake or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. It supposedly lifted some mountains up. Well, a couple inches here there. Well, plate, plate tectonics is how we have all these mountains. That's right. So it was definitely earth. You know, these mountains used to be connected to the Mount Baldy Mountains. Isn't it still? So it goes right between the San Andreas Fault. Is that no way? Yeah. So, so you're saying that 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 highway? So Big Bear and Mount Baldy used to be one mountain range. No way. That's crazy, but dude. The San Andreas splits it in two, and over the millions of years, we've drifted this way. Mind blown. No, bro. That's that's just. So then the Cajon Pass, that's literally on top of the... That's on top of the fall. I was about to go that way. Oh, God. That's pretty cool information, man. Crazy, huh? Yeah, totally. If anything, I, I would have thought that over time, they're getting closer now. But it, it was one single mountain. Oh, what am I doing? It was... <laughs> <laughs> I just want to show you I'm worthy. You're worthy. I'm not Are worthy. Good? How you feel? I I feel great right now. How your feet feel. Right? Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't. I don't. I'll be careful. I yeah. I'll definitely. But I, <laughs> but if I really feel like the hot spot's getting hot, hot. Because these socks helped a big amount. Yeah. But if, if I feel it getting hot like that, then I won't be dumb. I'll make sure we stop, even though I should have done it at the top, but I f forgot. I forgot. <laughs> I totally forgot. I hate putting on the most thing. It has to be really bad. I usually have to do it afterwards as the first aid to help repair it. You know, after you get the blister, you got to make the hole in one piece of moleskin and then put a piece of moleskin over the top of the piece with the hole in it. Is that, is that? Can I show you that? And that's where I learned it was in I'm, I'm sure, yeah, I, I know they uh, talked about it, but I was busy probably yeah. crying because I didn't want to be there. So look, if you already have the blister, yeah. you cut out the square of moleskin. Fold it in half and you cut a little half moon out of the middle. So then when you open it up, it's got a hole in it, right? Yeah. Yeah. You take and pull the sticky stuff off and you put that over the blister. Then you take another piece of moleskin the same size. Yeah. And then you cover that. Really? Yeah. 
So, so it makes like a layer, you know, it pushes it up a little bit. So you're not standing on, dude, that's smart. Yeah, and I've actually been to the Sierras backpacking, dude, and got, got a blister mid-trail, you know, 40 miles in. And fucking like, okay, you got to fix this or you're, you're, you're going to be fucked. Yeah, I couldn't imagine. 15 miles in on your super long hike. Yeah, sorry, dude. That's uh, oh, a full on <laughs> six day Sierra's backpacking trip. <sighs> and we were two days in. Dang, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, see, I was, when I was really young, I thought moleskin had some sort of medicine on it and you just put it on your blister. Right. So, I thought like, why would they skin mold? <laughs> yeah, I know. I thought I was, I was thinking that too. <laughs> yeah, totally. I don't get it, dude. Dude, you, you know what? I think a lot of people probably thought that the first time that they heard about it. But it it, it saved my uh, backpacking trip. So I'm glad to hear that because if I have to pull over to put it on. Pull over. <laughs> really it's yellow. really, really yellow. It. It's really bright yellow. Let me see. Oh my gosh, it really is super bright yellow. My glasses are really dark. I haven't taken them off. I don't think today. Yeah, guys, look at look at the colors. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of blooming going on right now. What are those th those white ones called again? That stupid freaking. Uh, Dewthorn. Buckthorn. 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 It looks pretty right now, but man, that stuff covers the trail and it's sharp. But it's really pretty right now. It really is. You know what? I bet driving out to um, Vegas, if it's still, still there, usually when we get these super rainy seasons out here, that driving out there, there will be a huge... 15 plus miles of just like rainbow fields full of these um, desert flowers that, right, right. oh, it's so incredible, man. So incredible. How are your new shoes treating you still? They're pretty good. Good, man. Nobody asked me if I could run fast in my new shoes. <laughs> All these other trails looked a lot further than the three miles. Oh, they are. That only one up to get like six or seven miles. And I think half of it's closed because it's going to burn area. Dude, it's just crazy because I used to drive, well, every year I drive this road a lot, and I just always thought that I would never be one of the people walking on the road here. Right, and right. This is great. I, I mean, I never imagined it, Ray. You get the multi experience. Oh, totally. really is something and guys going this way is going to look completely different I should have just said we're taking a different trail back because no one would recognize this on on, on, on a camera right. coming from two different you know two different directions so you know what it looks like coming back. Dude, brilliant. Brilliant idea. I've done that many times. You gotta have a pretty good memory though, too. <laughs> yeah, I've got a horrible <laughs> I'm good at location, so. Yeah, guys, I've probably five times today wanted to wander off on some other little trail that I thought was part of ours. And without him, I'd probably be in, I don't know, Palm Springs by now.
Be the gnat. <laughs> yeah, totally. Be yeah. The gnat. <laughs> Natty dreadlock. <sighs> Guys, this is the last little bit of uphill for I think basically the rest of the trail. Yeah, I'm excited. Look at that tree. Is it a nice smell? It smells like the kindergarten bathroom. It's kind of a weird. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing what sense where where that'll take us in our past, you know? Scent right? and 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 music are the truest way of time traveling. I can literally hear a song and go right back to how I felt, where I was. It's crazy. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Gosh, look how pretty it is, though, guys. So these things get super pokey, Ray was saying, once they're. Oh, yeah, I can see. Look, right here. See that? Oh, my gosh. That's and so ridiculous. These and they're, they grow across they the trail. They grow across the trail like crazy, especially in the burned areas. Did you guys see the size of that thorn? Look at this thing. Look at that. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, they just dude. rip your legs apart as you walk through them. No big deal. They just not even pay attention. Are these edible? That's manzanita. Really? I don't know if the berries are edible. But the wood's beautiful. For five bucks, we could find out. <laughs> yeah, <here we> go. <laughs> Honest, Nick, I don't know what happened. He ate a couple berries, took off all his clothes, and ran away. <laughs> yeah, we should probably call somebody. <laughs> You know what? I, I, I wonder how often that happens in these woods with like people, you know, coming up here to trip out and and then uh, take a little too much and end up a little weird. Things got weird. Yeah, freaking out a bit. Oh. I think, dude, it was always so natural to me. We were kids, you know, and I was like. 16, 17, 18, we were always out here. Yeah, well, yeah, you're so fortunate, man. I mean... We don't, there was no internet. I grew up without internet, too. I mean, like, like it, it was... It was It was different. Just coming out. Yeah. And, and even at our schools, we only had computers. There's, there still wasn't internet. Or, or maybe one computer had some sort of a super slow... 1998 I paid big money <laughs> to have a computer that had three gigabytes isn't that crazy yeah and yeah I wanted a flat screen monitor so it was a flat picture tube oh yeah <laughs> thing weighed like 120 pounds dude once uh, yeah so and it was it was gosh I think in the early 2000s when 4K or like 1080p and yeah. a little bit higher started to really come in. When the Xbox 360 came out and it first started supporting 1080p. Yeah, that's right. And now games. That was, that was magical, dude. It was. But now the games of right now are just. 6K. <laughs> dude. 8K. So. I'm I'm gonna buy this flight simulator for the Xbox X series. It's it's Microsoft's flight simulator game, dude. I I I, I watch a lot of videos on it, and everything everywhere you go looks just about exactly as they have it. Even a lot of the buildings. Right, right. And uh, yeah, dude. Like a a couple times, I forgot I was watching. A video because it's so real like it so you can literally fly to your favorite airports in, in and out go to 
go visit certain locations that you've stayed at and, and stuff? Yes, the whole like nine yards and be on the radio. And yes, yes, and yes. Get in line to land. Yep, yep. And since there are so many planes in the sky from from the video game, there actually is. Uh, um, uh, what's that called? ATC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a real live um, thing, and yeah, it's. Uh, I'm telling you, Ray. Like it's it's it trips me out how real it is. Get the thousand dollar fucking flight stick and everything. Um, the, the one that I like is it's it's four thirty nine. It's on sale from like six hundred bucks. It's got the the four engines. Um, four throttles. Or yeah, yeah, four four throttles, and a real yoke like. Right, right. Like lots of planes have. Pedals. Um, it. I think that 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 one you have to pay another hundred and ninety nine for the pedals. You kind of gotta have those, don't you? Or no? I think you can use the rudder some some other way, but. Right. See here. Haven't missed any. You got signal. I will. Here? Light. Oh yeah, it just delivered. Rachel wanted me to to send her a picture of me in it, and you have it, so that's good. Would you want me to send you the picture that I took? Yeah, you don't have to send it right now. We can. We okay. yeah. Left at the end. Oh, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> but I'm happy with how well I'm doing. For 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 the shape I'm in, you know? Yeah. You do the entirety of the trail, bro. I can't believe it. Just like when we did Cougar Trest, Crest, you kept on saying, we don't have to go up. You you won't be mad if we if we don't go to the top. But I had to push myself. Yeah, because now you've got like one complete hike under your belt. Actually, you cast the rock. Yep. I didn't climb the rock, though. No. I get it. That's kind of sketchy. Yeah, I was a little... We used to have a rope there, then it was cool, and I would go up there. I felt... Well, be just good enough alone. Yeah, I know, right? Ah, we're here. Whew. We're here, Buttercup. <sighs> Stopping the shapers. Yeah, totally. That feels good right here, doesn't it? <sighs> this thing's not that hot. Nice. Yeah. You're hot. Thanks. No, that's, yeah, that's great. It's something, isn't it? I'm not sitting down. The beach, I get it. That's the same thing. You know, I'm, I'm gonna have to take the external charger out and put it in my pocket because it keeps on shutting off. And since I have a battery in, that's why it hasn't shut off yet. But. I don't want the battery. Oh, come on. Wrong one. Yeah, the one right below it. The one with the cord coming out of it. <laughs> oh, no, it's still on. Okay. It just doesn't show it's charging on my phone or on my camera. Because your battery's full, so it's just running off the external battery. The battery says 34%. Yeah, so it's super, super low. I say... Thumbs down on GoPro. Thumbs down for sure on GoPro, dude. I'm very disappointed. That's sad. It really is. Something so expensive. And I thought it was just my my other GoPros that I had bad luck with until I started doing some research on like how's what the, the how's it? Yeah, yeah. Yep. 
unfortunately. That's not what I looked for first. I, I looked for what are the best settings for like hiking and stuff on, on this GoPro. And then I got so many videos saying like, don't buy it. Don't <laughs> like, like waste of money, right. this and that. And then as I said, lots of people who like did skydiving trips and just stuff that you, you pay. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't get anything or I don't know, like something so rare. I don't, and none of it came out. <laughs> like, you caught that, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. It's, oh no, it wasn't recorded, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's. Working on a rail slide for freaking four months. Yeah, totally, right? And you finally nail it. <laughs> oh no, the GoPro is too hot for sitting in the sun. That's funny because I'd be practicing my kick flips and pressure flips and all, all that stuff for, for, for months, every day, for months and months. And if cameras would have been out like they are now back then, I would have definitely done this and lost a lot of footage. Is that like a natural step? No, they so they put water bars in. Okay. And one at one time the trail was just right here, and that was to keep the water running off the trail, but people go around it and make new trails. <laughs> they change every year, bro. You really know your stuff, man. They do. They change every year because there'll be a tree down or. A washout or something. Wonder if all these boulders were glacial, glacial boulders that got moved while they were sitting on glaciers and then once the glaciers melted they just here. yep because that's how you see those huge rocks in the middle of the freaking desert and stuff that right. that has to be i mean there's no other explanation unless superman was real <laughs> no but this place is was covered in ice at one time yep yep it was all the way down to just about the equator. I want like goggles, dude, that you could be like standing in a location and you could look back, you know, you could set it a million years, <laughs> 500 million years. Dude, that would be so awesome. And where you were standing, you could look around yeah. and you would see what, what it looked like at that time 500 million years ago. Dude, those goggles would, would be like $10 million, dude. <laughs> Crazy, huh? I would love that would be amazing <laughs> yeah that would be insane that'd be good enough for me I, I guess yeah and to have it in this exact definition that your eyes see out see through yeah. oh yeah this would probably be oh man like a pair of ski goggles with a remote I'd like to put those goggles on like 65 million years ago when there were still dinosaurs walking around. You know, you, you, 
they're, they're, they have safety features, so like, if that spot you're standing in turns to it was an ocean, 500 million years ago, you're like in a bubble. Yeah. <laughs> I did, yeah. Or it just doesn't let you go to that time. It's like, ocean warning. Ocean warning. <laughs> Yeah, that would be awesome. I oh, they, those are sharp. I thought there there was a movie uh, that kind of it wasn't with goggles, but it was it was something like that. Through a lot of like astrophysics i guess and quantum physics they've been really feeling that in space you can actually bend the time of space when you're traveling to get to the other side of the universe right which is just i mean bro like that's just it makes my mind whimper it's a doom movie thing with cold space so you picture like you got point A and point B. Yeah, and then, and then they just fold the two together. Yep, yep. And these are really bright minds, the brightest of the bright, who really understand that. It's it's just mind blowing. I mean, just just learning how big the universe is, or just just the visible day. universe. Yeah. I mean, and it's it, it's like five hundred or like five hundred trillion light years across. Or, yeah. Like that's just what we can see. <laughs> you know, like, uh, dude, it's crazy. And and so much they've been finding over the past twenty five years about how how big we are and from the big bang they still think that the universe is is actually expanding faster than than the speed of light so there will be some parts of the universe that we'll never ever ever be able to see oh yeah no matter what infinite possibilities i mean humans can't even travel one light year yet no. like it, it's it's just we can't get the, we can't get the speed of light is almost technically unreachable by us because you have to have the same there's something that the einstein stuff where you relativity the energy required to move at your mass that fast they can never equal out but in space couldn't it possibly be because our space station's going like 17,000 miles per hour or like something and it, it's just floating there and you know the whole thing with the time dilation like one hour at the speed of light is like 10 years back home yeah 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 it would take us forever there wouldn't be you're basically going into the into the future without any support anymore Yeah, it's crazy shit. It is. It is. But they do it on Star Trek, they go faster. <laughs> and, and on space balls, they go ludicrous speed. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <stop. laughs> we, we have to slow down. <laughs> we are. Uh, yeah. No, you do it. Stop. <laughs> 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 And it would have been a lot fast. He would have disintegrated from how fast they stopped, probably, without being seated. No, that's uh, a... <laughs> that's a funny movie, man. It's a classic movie. Totally classic. That goes in with Caddyshack for me. Caddyshack's probably my all-time favorite movie. I can never watch it without reciting every line. Oh yeah, especially Rodney Dangerfield. Oh man, that guy was so funny. A pioneer in many ways. He was Bug City. 
Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. I don't mind for bad. Just stay out of my mouth. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see on the 5K, but there's a lot of bugs. It's 5.3K actually. 5.3K. <laughs> but like real, like uh, it's it's GoPro's newest stuff. So like, e e even though you see like like 8K stuff out there, this will be nicer quality. If it if it comes out pr properly, you know, we'll see. Oh, I wish she was here. She'd love this. Ray, thank you again. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Yeah, I was nervous. I made it back yet, but your chances are good. Yeah, I'm 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 hopeful. <laughs> I'm trying to walk gingerly on my feet. Try to land on my heels first and soften the, the blow on the front of my feet. I think I'll make it. I shouldn't talk about this, on, but I wonder if there's any illegal grows near these streams up here for like one season uh, out of the year. You know, they don't run long enough, bro. I don't think it runs long enough. You need a, a good. Yeah. Oh, good point yeah. about the streams. Yeah. I mean, this is this will probably be dry, dude, in two or three weeks. Well, yeah, and it's not like they have huge tanks that they can put water in because no, I. No, no, they yeah. want to be around the running water that they can put. You know, they run uh, drip lines off of. Yes. I've watched a lot of those documentaries too. Crazy. Where I lived in, in in Hawaii, you were told like, if if you're ever hiking and if you ever come across a patch, you you turn around and come right back where you came from. Go right back where you came from. Don't look back. Don't mess with it because they're booby trapped. They have people that are paid to stay out there near the patches and 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 they'll they'll take you out. It's crazy, man. All for money and a plant. Right. People's lives are expendable just because of that. I know everyone has their price, but I wouldn't, I don't think there would be anything you could pay me to take, take another human. So that streams running down here. So this little area I'm assuming was carved out by water running through it when this used to be ice back in the day. I don't know. Or maybe it's just a canyon, I don't know. Some beautiful big pine cones down there. This is erosion, my man, erosion. There you go. Years of erosion. All right, we're coming up to one of the spots I remember where the camera died, or where we had to. Oh, yeah, right yeah, we had to walk a hundred yards to find the shade. Be one with the fly. <laughs> totally. 
we went to Sierra's one time, dude, and the mosquitoes were so thick, right? Where? The Sierra's? Yeah. We were backpacking there, and I brought bug spray, and I was using it liberally. But my homie, who's the kind of guy that don't like chemicals, all that stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. He was having a mental war with the mosquitoes. <laughs> oh no, dude. He was so angry and frustrated. I finally convinced just to put a little on the edge of his hand. Because <laughs> that was a spot that wasn't covered. <laughs> but these suckers were drilling through our clothing, dude. Dude, that's gnarly. Yeah. At least it's hot. It's warm today. Finally getting there, Nick. I'm going to have to keep on checking this because the battery is probably going to... The external pack is, is probably going to shut off. It's all being a bitch, huh? It is, man. But it's all good. It's all good. I just got to keep my eye on it. Because okay. I would hate to waste this hike. Not, not Obviously, it's not a waste, but like just to know what beautiful glory I, I'm going to be showing them all. It would make me really sad because I know I like I probably won't 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 do this for for a while. Like get some some other smaller hikes under my wing if there is such a thing. But yeah, your idea, if I could keep that charger going instead of it shutting down. Uh, there should be a way it can run off external power. Yes, guaranteed. We're, we're, you proved that already. It's yeah, just, so I just have to. You just leave the big battery in your pack all day long and just keep shooting. Yes, and that's what I figured after I figured out that it could work with just the charger plugged in oh yeah oh thanks dude i didn't even see that thank you i had it tucked in earlier yeah it does it really does guys this is just amazing That stream's dried up now. Or, or maybe that's an avalanche chute. I don't know. I was running a couple months ago. I was up here. Some of the runs on the trail. One more time. One more time. I'm gonna celebrate. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, right to stop the dancing. One more time. Celebrate. <laughs> I was singing a different one more time. I know you were. Or one more night or whatever that song's. One more night. Like Bee Gees. <laughs> Bee Gees rock, dude. Yeah, that mustard is so bright. Very hot. They are vibrant yellow. Yeah. Is that where mustard comes from? 
I really don't know. Yeah, yeah. Mustard seeds. Those little lizards make a lot of noise. They're tiny. I'm always thinking it's like a squirrel in there, and then I look and it's a little tiny lizard running around. Oh, yeah. I've seen so many just on this hike. If, if one of your days off, Ray, you're going to take a hiking break. Um, oh, hey there. I was thinking um, we could all go do a, a Holcomb Valley tour. That'd be cool. Yeah, okay. All those boulders up there. Jeez Louise, that's a stack of boulders. Hi there. How are you? Doing well, thank you. Good. Yes, yes, two of us. Take care. Have a good rest of your, your bite. Oh, that smells so good. Right there. Right right where you're walking through right now. It smells like those are yellow. You know in like April on the side of Highway 18, there's all those. Smell right now. Are they there right now? I smell it right now. Yeah, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I mean, beautiful. Huh. But I don't see any of those, but that's yeah. that's that smell though. I'm telling you, driving down the mountain with those big yellow flowers everywhere. Oh yeah, it's amazing. Roll down your windows and just so such a nice scent. It's a waterfall right there. And then our beautiful lake. Come right here, let me take the picture. Thanks, Ray. Right behind you. Thanks, Ray. Do you want me to take yeah, yours too? No. I 
I got plenty. Just do that way a little bit. There we go. All right, big smoke, homie. All right. Thanks, dude. Yeah, buddy. Guys, I mean, do you do you see how beautiful that is? Oh my gosh. Every time I drive by that house with the green roof on the far right, like where it starts to bend, that, that, that guy's got the best view in this whole entire town. And I think it's, I thought it was an Airbnb. Right. And one of my YouTube friends used to actually like know know the guy that lived there or something like that but uh that would be a great airbnb so expensive though i'm sure So when they saw that, that part went whoop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Am I doing good? Oh yeah. All right, good. You walk it faster than walk. Oh damn! Well, if you need me to slow down, just let me know. No, no, you keep going. I got you. All right. They're starting to get some text messages now. I just sent you four pictures. Oh. Put on okay, then those those are the messages. Thank you. I'll definitely check them out since since you're you're posting them. I know you have a lot of killer picks. The rare twice a year that I'm ever on there, I always check out your stuff. But I don't read any of the messages or anything like that because there's so I know you don't there's, that. there's so many. You just post your YouTube videos. That's all I do, yep, that's all I do. And but I respond to all my YouTube comments though. Or the Facebook YouTube comments? The YouTube comments. Like I'm 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 expecting them to click on it and then leave a comment there, but I know that that doesn't happen. Right. So yeah, trust me, I I do feel feel bad about it. I'm just I'm there's so many comments on, on the YouTube channel and it gets a bit overwhelming. But not in a real bad way. It's just it's just a lot of work. It takes a lot of time because I don't leave a simple like thanks or like hello I leave them like paragraphs because I care and, and they've always been so good to me bless you, bless you. your uh, typing skills amaze me you do type a lot it's voice texting oh that's how you do that yeah I was like I've been like man this guy is really good he, here's that ski slope again huh yep Cold Mountain. Yep. Hot. It's toasty. It is. It is. It's smoking out here. I keep on forgetting to take off my hat at points, and boy, does it feel good.
In my car, I got a bunch of waters. Is that it? Are you done? <sighs> I'm not gonna need any more. Right, that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Put that in the side. Please. Thank you. Come on. Yeah, take your time, man. Yeah, I see how it works. I see how the little stretchy pocket works. You gotta loosen the chingadera up. I'm so confused. Huh? You ready? Oh no, it's 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 if you want to hang out for yeah, this is there's usually a really really strong breeze right here. Cuz of the way the saddle is right here. You can go faster than us. Yeah. That happens to me a lot. Really? Yeah. You get lapped? Yeah. I'm pretty much used to it. Yeah. You can even walk up to that 208 road of the meadow there. Yeah. And you turn left and you walk to a black gate and it'll take you to the top of this. And walk back down to this and then back to the trail. Oh, nice. Nice. There's a lot of options on this trail. Yeah. Shall we? Yes, sir. Bless you. Okay, moving. Let's see if we stop. I wonder if, if they stopped because they didn't want us to be behind them. <laughs> Maybe. That's where my mind goes. That's a nice view right there too. No, that's that's true. That's true. That's true. If we were stopped right here, then that would have been a different. Okay, that's true. Come on, GoPro, don't die. <laughs> Seriously, Ray, this is so unbelievable. I saw a bobcat right in here earlier in the year. Yeah, you, uh, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. What time of day was it, approximately? So that's what time is it now? Weird for a cat to be out in the middle of the day. It's 2:30. Wow, it's already or no, it's 2:45. Wow. That, I can't believe it. You can have a full day. I know, right? That's great. Yeah, feels good, man. I'm to get in a full day hike in the day. Well, I'm glad I'm not letting you down, man. I'm glad I can keep on pushing. This is horrible, but I haven't had any fast food in a while and I'm craving a couple double cheeseburgers. Woo. And some large fries. You want it. Th definitely. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Ray. Help. I have to justify in my mind all these horrible habits I have all the time. I thought yeah. that was like. We had this big hike challenge up here one time. Yeah. And the people had started at Onyx Summit and they finished at the Cougar Crest Trail at the bottom down there. Yeah. So all these like athletic people and hikers and stuff were coming down the trail and they see us and they stop and they're talking. And they're like, well, what do you guys do to recuperate after your hike? And we looked at each other and we're like, Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> they just looked at us and like, oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's something you get to frequent. 
<laughs> yeah, Taco Bell. You know, we hike a lot, so there's no like, we don't need no recovery drink or. They're like, we can't have any Taco Bell in our lemongrass water. <laughs> <laughs> But I'll tell you what, all that stuff is super good for you, man. All, no, all, 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 all the stuff that like people from where I'm from, Newport Beach and stuff, like it's like, it's... It, this is what I drank this morning. I'm oh, I tea. love those. Yes, I, I absolutely love those. That's what I should have had. I got a lot of sugar, but before I hike, you're going to burn all that sugar. And it gives you energy. That sugar will, will give you energy. When you're out doing this, feel free to eat the salty food. Feel free to eat the sugary food. Just stay hydrated, right? And just bring plenty of water because you're going to burn all that stuff. If the camera ends up dying again, I'm going to get uh, grab my snack to eat and walk. You finally hungry? I'm getting there. You want some peanuts? They're expensive ones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bougie with the peanuts. Are you? Yeah, I buy no freaking Stater Brothers brand. Those things suck. <laughs> planners only, man. Yeah, planners is the best. Planners is definitely the best. What are the what are the best nuts? Even though they're all protein, for like for exercise, almonds. Oh, dude, I don't like almonds. You don't like almonds? Nope. So I'm a peanut and cashew guy. Okay. As you can find them, and they're done right. Filberts. Never even heard of that. So I think I think they're also known as hazelnut. Silver. I think it's the same thing. Oh, that's I know. It's it's, it's incredible. Amazing. Yeah, it really is. So vibrant. And you said that's the in Indian paintbrush, or no? No, that's the alpine lupin. The alpine lupin. The al alpine lupin. Alpine grape lupin. Grape, grape tea. Yeah, that's that's nice. Yes. Put your arms up, Nick. <laughs> oh. Oh man. Yeah, that feels good. Your back and your back. Oh yeah, and then because it, it, it's wet, I, I I get a nice blast of cool also, like a cool wet towel. Wet towel. It's inevitable in this sport. Your back gets sweaty. Yeah, especially if you're wearing a backpack. And then I got some really nice packs where the part of the pack doesn't even touch the back. I've seen that. Yeah. I yeah, yeah. I've seen that. It just goes along your shoulder blades, right? Yeah, and the pack's mounted on like a mesh thing. Yeah. And there's this big old open spot. These guys are blue and purple. Look at that. Come on. I'm gonna send her those those pics that that you sent to me. Did you look at them? Oh, I both. I, I'm gonna check them out right now. Let's see here. Yeah, dude. That San Gorgonio one is crazy. I got. Oh, look at that, bro. Dude, thanks, man. Yeah, those are what I'm gonna post. Dude, you're awesome. That purple picture right there. You are awesome. Oh man, I'm getting allergied out. You know what? Let's let, let's keep so walking. Then. I'm so. Do, do you have any of your Claritin with you? Yeah, I got it, sir, but I'm not gonna stop. Until I get home. Jeez. Yeah, it'll be all right. Stupid, dude. I can hear it. I had allergies bad when I was a kid. It went away mid adult. <laughs> And now I get older, they're kind of coming back, I hate to say. I was a fortunate kid where I didn't really suffer too much. I would rarely sneeze. 
As a matter of fact, I only got got sick once uh, until I was 16 years old, and that was I got I got chicken pox for the first time at si oh, at 16 at, at rehab in Utah. I've never had chicken pox, dude. No way. Yeah. I thought that was going to be my experience too, but at a rehab center. I tried my hardest not to get COVID. I got that. Yeah, totally. Did you? Yeah. I think I I got it at the very start. Before I, it was a thing. Yeah, and then. You were real sick when it was just starting to go down. I I didn't get really sick from it, but um, I lost all my taste buds and stuff so I just figured that that's what it was um, yeah I, I I was feeling spent but I didn't feel as bad as I did when I had COVID where I knew I had COVID about a year ago or right. January or no it was, it, was, it was probably January because I went to the hospital right. for something else because I was having a serious panic attack and I said I haven't been feeling well either and they did a test and apparently I was part of the club officially oh, homie, this is, battery chain. is this where in this right here, the up ahead of us. is this it Wait for a second. so Maybe a second. yeah yeah it's going to be a nightmare for me to find where's what because if it's the videos that stop and start because it only records a certain length I think yeah. then it starts a brand new video those ones that I'm consistently going through those are easy to find but it's the ones where it cuts out because there's so many of them that I have to find where one starts and one ends on a regular video it'll stop here and then start here so I can see that it's the same view at the end as it is at the start right, right, right. yeah <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not looking forward to it, I'll tell you that. Oh, this way. That's right. After you, sir. That's right. Okay. We'll okay, cool. I'm down for that. We have to walk uphill for about five minutes to the third to a half a mile. I don't even remember any uphill walking up here. Remember we started out of the road and then we went down oh, the yeah. long way? Bikes. Careful, careful, yeah. You got more courage than I do, young man. <laughs> Might get stuck in here. Yeah. You go. Thank you, yeah, absolutely. Right, Have a great rest of your ride. Thank you. <laughs> That'd be cool to cruise down on, for sure. Right. There was a sign on the last hike I did that said um, e-bikes are forbidden on here. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh, I'm I'm wondering why. Could it be if the battery starts on fire or something? I or catches fire? Yeah, it, it didn't make any sense to me. Left or right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> For aesthetic purposes. Do you want me to take a picture? Oh, we're less than a mile from the end, bro. Yeah. No way. We would be having to climb back up right now. But we're going to go this way. This is the old trail. Guys, this is a different part of the trail now. I don't recommend it if you don't know where you're going. I hope you guys heard that. He doesn't recommend it if you don't know where you're going. 
you guys know I trust this guy with, with my life, so I got no concerns. We get to do a stream crossing. Yeah. I get him, bro. I get him. You want the stick? No, I think I can make it. Thank you, Ray. You got it. Look at you. You big hiker, you. <laughs> <laughs> that was so pro right there. Woo. Hot. Sweaty good yeah it's good yeah i know i'm gonna feel good after i get a, a little bit of rest i'm gonna feel so physically good my mental is feeling good right You'll now probably actually go to bed at a decent hour tonight huh. okay this is when you're almost at the very bottom we're almost three we're about three quarters of a mile from the end just so you know where we're at because the camera of course you guys overheated again can you guys believe that? This is the brand new GoPro Hero 11, and it's not just an issue with my my camera. This is an issue with all of GoPro. So let's get this. Here's the extra charger, the extra batteries that I got. We're gonna put that back in here. Getting up's gonna suck. Oh, I know. Feeling it? Yeah, I'm feeling it. The dogs are barking. Big time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's you ready? What I like to hear. It's oh, heck here. yeah! Heck yeah! It is. And I mean seriously, I I think earlier points in my life with what I'm feeling right now, I probably would have given up. I don't like doing that. It, it like sits, it just, it doesn't get out of my head. You leave the bad taste in your mouth. Big time. And I don't want that. So this used to be the old trail. Okay. But this tree blocked it too? Or are they, we going down they, there? They intentionally put stuff down and stuff. To like cover up the old trail, right? And just cure it here. But there's people like us, and you can see there's other people too. Whew. So it's downhill all the way, huh? There's one little uphill section. Yeah. Okay. But it's a lot less than what we would have had to go on. You said left? No. Oh, I thought you... No, I, oh, 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 okay, okay. Then what we would have to have climbed if we went on the other track. Uh, okay. I wish you were here with us. It's so pretty. Ray is the best. Yeah. <laughs> he really is the best. He makes these hikes so much more enjoyable, I think. Dude, I am so stoked. I haven't had any calls. Like, that's crazy. It was meant to be. It was meant to be.
We're giants walking among these trees right here. <laughs> I, I crash your little head. That was mad TV, yeah? Oh, totally, dude. <laughs> yeah, thanks, man. I was a big in, um, in Living Color fan, too, when it first came out. I preferred it more than Saturday Night Live, even though Saturday Night Live was awesome back then. I was going to say, I would have never guessed that would have been your generation. I was born. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was born in 80. Oh yeah, dude. Living color. Totally. So good. Oh yeah. The Wayne's brothers are just I mean Hilarious. comic geniuses. Yeah. I've pretty much liked all their movies, even some of their they're, they're more goofy movies like White Chicks or... And Damon Wayans has a son who... Uh, um, he was in Super Troopers 2 as one of the cops. Dude, he looks identical to his dad. Oh my gosh, man. Identical. I was like, no way, that's Damon Wayans. But I, I realized because he looks so young, it's, it, it's got to be his son. And it was his son, but yeah, it looks identical. Not a spin-off, nothing. I mean, like virtually, like if you put him in, uh, uh, what was that movie with Bruce Willis where um, Damon Wayans was a football player? Oh God, dude, I'm horrible at movie names and actors. Oh, what was that called? Um, Oh well. Okay. Wow, you you really know this place like the freaking back of your hand dude this is great you guys we couldn't see this corner at all and he he, he knows it yeah yeah if you guys want to feel safe that's feeling safe for, for me because when he said you don't want to take this trail if you, if you don't know where you're going pretty awesome Sounds like someone's yelling. No kidding. I see a parking lot right here. No way. That's that's got to be what that is. What it is, bro. No way. I, I can see the dark pavement.
Yeah, that's got to be there, man. That's awesome. Crazy, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah. I think three. I think three different times. I enjoyed it. Wow. Guys, we've just about made it. I can't believe it. I, th I think, yeah, I think about that's probably right around when we parked and got out. Yeah, I think so. It is, I think it's about th 3.10. 310? Yeah. So yeah, buddy. You took a pretty nice break at the top. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. I think that's what helped me out, actually, is that long break we took. And you uh, reminding me about my merino wool socks. Dude, if I didn't have those with me, I don't know what I'd be going through right now. Sweaty, agonizing feet. The agony of the feet. And those, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. In more than, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. That's funny, dude. Not just defeat, but defeat. <laughs> so where are these houses? That one street that we drove. Oh, no kidding. Sawmill, sawmill. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bro, I can hardly stand and I'm loving it. I feel so good right now. You guys would really do yourselves a huge favor if you got up here to hike on just any of these trails. They've all been so beautiful. And it's so much bigger here in the back than you would think just by looking at it from Big Bear Boulevard or driving up here. This wilderness is a lot bigger than I ever anticipated. Yeah, dude. It's a good achievement. Thanks, man. It's one, of the one of my favorites, dude. It's definitely one of my favorites so far. Actually, I think it probably is my favorite. And then Cougar Crest and then Castle Rock. Those are all I've done. Right. And the one with Rachel. That one was beautiful, bro. The uh, one after this is Gray's Peak. Where's Gray's Peak? Out of Pond Skin on the other side of the lake. Okay. Same distance. Same kind same kind of trail. Okay. Smooth. Not all rocky like this. I know There's I can much sugar loaf mountain is like the whole trip. Just rocks like this, huh? Yes. Even worse. This is ankle <laughs> ankle roller. Yeah. Good boot. Yeah, definitely. Nice and tight. That's why I spent uh, like 140 or 150 on these boots. Yeah. And then I got the brand new uh, merino socks. Got th three brand new pairs of merino wool socks just to use specifically for the hiking. Oh yeah, that's something that I wasn't going to skimp on, especially after you told me if you can't afford the better stuff, do it. Yeah. Because this is one of those times in life where you'll actually get something better for more money. If you find the right stuff, I did a lot of research and guys, I even called Ray saying, hey, have you heard of this Merrill company? He's like, they're great. They're great. So that's why I got them.
You know what I just noticed, Ray? On this whole entire hike, the one thing that's stressing me out the most in my life right now, I haven't thought about it once. Nice. Until just now. Dude, that's just. Let go for a few hours. I'm t dude, that's. And I'll be good the rest of the day. <laughs> I have a lot of anxiety this morning about my car and shit. Yeah, dude, I am sorry about that, man. It's okay. Dude. It's it's it's. But. It out. And we are back. That's a good attitude. And guys, we are back. We are back. Aspen Glen picnic area. Let's get this off real quick. Oh, so nice out right now, my God. All right, guys. <laughs> Look at this. We made it all the way back. We started up that direction. I can't believe I did that, Ray. All right. So I'm going to show you guys these signs real quick. And then we will be done. Yeah, guys, I'm telling you, if I didn't have Ray over there, these hikes would be almost impossible for me. He gives me the a lot of extra strength to get through. As I said, maybe screenshot it, you guys. One more time, we'll pull so you guys can see. Okay. Take care, guys. All right. Thanks again, my my good friend, tour guide. Yes, sir. I appreciate it a lot. You're an educator, now you know. And knowing is half the battle. Knowing so. We're out of here, you guys. Thanks again for being a part of this. Hope you enjoy the video. It'll probably be up tomorrow or well, on the 28th or something because it's going to be a hard process. But yeah, when you guys come up to Big Bear this time of year, look at all this, all this pollen. It's, it's a constant. You wash your car, it's completely yellow the next day. Anyway, peace out, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the Pine Knot Trail. Talk to you later. Thank you, Ray, again. And we will, we will see you later. Bye, guys.